What's up, YouTube? This is Jacob and Lalan here from SEAL Team Rogue. Uh, we're just going to give you guys a little bit of insight about how our Kissimmee Regional was. Um, it was kind of kind of interesting. 344 people showed up. Uh, three people from SEAL Team Rogue were there. And uh, overall, what were your thoughts about the beginning of it, Alon? Well, the beginning of it, definitely, uh, Regional started late. <laughs> we were supposed to start at 10. Started at like 10.30, 10.45. Yeah, pretty like much that. almost 11. And so we were already behind on that, so we were all getting impatient, and then finally when we started, I don't know, I was kind of, I, I guess I felt like a little bit off my mojo just because we waited for so long. Yeah. Um, so it was, out of 344 people, it ended up being nine rounds of Swiss. Um, it was. It ended up being only top 30. 48. Top 48, they got their invite. Uh, congratulations to Alain, 22 yeah. out of 344. That's pretty impressive. Uh, he was piloting his pen magicians. Uh, how did you feel about the pen magician deck? Like it was definitely, you felt the strongest deck there, or did you see anything that was a little bit crazier? Oh no, um, there was this, there was uh, this one OTK desktop, uh, uh, no deskbot deskbot desk deck that was yeah, just taking that, right? down, just taking on decks. But you saw a lot of uh, different decks. You saw Chu Draco Invoked. You saw a lot of Mech Knight variants. Uh, Mech Knight Pure. Mech Knight invoked mech knight true dracos um so something's up with mech knights they're coming up yeah um, they did get a lot of great crazy support or but did they get support or did they just come out this no this, this is just they just came out oh they just time. came out this yeah. so that's even crazier so that, konami's means like, that means there's support coming out still yeah konami right now is they're doing good shit with like everything that they just brought out with this last set and with what's coming out it was it's gonna be amazing like you right now Yu Gi Oh is hitting an all-time like great moment um, I ended up piloting ABCs. Uh, honestly, I love my deck. Um, it just the consistency was horrible. I every match that I that I lost, I ended up going four four one. Um, the four matches that I lost, I didn't lose because the player was better than me, even though he was one of them. Um, so but what, it, so what are you trying to say? No, no, no. no. <laughs> you're you're a great player. Clearly, your your statistic, your stats show it. Twenty two out of 344, that's impressive. There's no there's no way to take anything away from you at all. But out of all seriousness, uh, ABC is super powerful. There was an Ojama variant that did really well. Um, I myself, I could have done better. Though, like I said, the only duels I lost was because I bricked. And you saw. You saw. I bricked horribly. So the consistency of the deck is... What's, a, what's a union hanger? <laughs> yeah, what is union? Evenly matched loved me. I, I literally opened up with evenly matched at least once every match. If not, I opened up with both, which was horrible. But, um, you know, I ended up getting 131, which is still on the better half, but, I mean, it, it didn't do anything with it. Um, it was fun. I had a great time. Headache. But you? Uh, definitely after my first two rounds of just getting kicked around. Well, the first one made it to game three. The second one kicked, got kicked around by invoked uh, mech knights. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't have a lot of confidence, but then uh, I won every single game after that. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I went in with straight confidence, and to be honest, like just the outcome was horrible for me. All my games, I took them to game three. Even when I bricked, I managed to extend the game and turn it into a grind game. But, I mean, I wasn't seeing Union Hanger. I wasn't seeing my terraformings. And the few times that I would see Union Hanger was getting ashed without a piece in hand. So, um, the consistency of, of my ABC deck in particular really, really was a letdown. And as much fun as I had, you know, the goal was to get my invite. Um, I definitely feel like I let a lot of my, 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 my teachers down, my, my senseis. And if they watch this, I love you guys, and I'm sorry, you know who you are. <laughs> um, but overall, the experience itself was great. I did way better than my last regional. So did you, 100%. And our boy RG, that he was with us too, um, he did actually a lot better with uh, Dino, with True King Dino. Yeah. Um, he actually was doing better than all of us in just the last three matches. He's just fucked. Uh, how did you feel going up the like once you started hitting up the high, the lower tables? And when I say lower, I mean like the numbers are like, you know, really high. The, no, yeah. the lower numbers, the lower number tables. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Once yeah. you started competing with the most com more competitive people, like, did were you able to notice the difference right away or, or did you just oh, kind of like play? You, could, you can tell the difference between the caliber, between the, not even just the decks because the deck is a deck, but the pilot is what pilots the deck. And so like being in those higher tables, 
uh, you just sat down and you could tell that they meant business. They they were just definitely more concentrated. So I definitely uh, when once I started getting up there and uh, I started sitting back more and uh, thinking about my plays better, I sat uh, I started thinking more of like what I'm gonna do next and what hap and like how to counteract it and think of like comeback plays like what happens so I have a hand what happens if they ash this I have this so maybe they have an ogre so let me ogre let me go, uh, let me bait it out this way so I thought more strategic strategically instead of trying to just aim to oh I need to make this board I need to make this board I thought more I need to make the board but let me make sure I can get there with what I have yeah you're playing around a lot of things yeah <clears throat> so um uh, for those of you guys that haven't seen his deck profile, that it's going to be on the profile if it's not already on, um, when you see this, uh, Alain played more of a focused uh, pen magician deck, as in the sense that he didn't do the new mythical beast engine that everybody's running. Uh, so or the FDK version. Or the FDK version. Um, so, <laughs> did you play any mythical beast versions of yep. Pendulum? And seeing how they popped off with their plays with the myth mythical beast. Uh, how did you, I mean, how did you think about it in your head? Like, what did you compare? Did you think that that might be something you want to try in the future? Or do you definitely, are you satisfied and you're content with your build and you think that's what oh, you want to keep I've, pushing? Uh, I've been playing around with it before coming here and I was playing around with it and then I made the, the decision of not using the, math, the Mystical Vista variant. Um, just because I kept ending up with four scale, uh, because it's, it, uh, Mythical Beasts are it's scale four, and so you can't really pen some with them. They're pretty much used to just get a monster on board, and either going going second with that is great because you get Master Severus on board with, and he gains uh, two two different counters, yeah, makes it four, card. and banishes, banishes and gains the attack, which is great. And then if I can get Jackal on board on turn one, he's also another monster in the gate. So if you have you can essentially have two monster gate negates, two spell, uh, and like three spell negates, and one trap negate. It would be great, but I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't get the combo correct, and I couldn't get the numbers right. And I decided not to do with go with it. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna try it out. No, I mean, I'm not gonna go for it. Clearly, you did good. Twenty two out of three forty four again. That's that's really impressive. Uh, you did a lot better than a lot of the the pros from Miami. That, that they even give you depths for that. You did better than Andres, than Andy, too. <laughs> um, you did a lot better than a lot of people that, you know, we thought were going to be definitely um, topping. So, I mean, definitely props to you, dude. Definitely I, I something think, to be proud uh, of. I think in that aspect, it was more of a, I needed the invite. I, that's, that's, I was fighting for it, and they were there for fun, or just trying to get the mat, because they have their invite. They only no, yeah, but regardless, <laughs> at the end of the day, everybody's competitive. You yeah. know, you don't want to lose. I mean, obviously, there's people that they're helping out their boys too. But no, nah, I think at the end of the day, like the people that they lost to were were people that. Well, I mean, you saw they, they were getting pissed. Like, fuck, can't believe I lost, troll. But yeah, I mean, desk bots. I'm just glad that a lot of people from Miami ended up making it up there. Uh, a lot of people from Miami ended up getting on the top tables. Um, so that just goes to show you that if you're in South Florida um, and you scene. lose, we are definitely the a very competitive uh, scene. So, like, if you're losing in South Florida, because that's actually what happened to me when I first came in, and I noticed that going into this uh, qualifier, was that South Florida has a very competitive scene, and they proved it. Out of 344, all the people that we recognized that we knew were on the top tables, except for, you know, sadly me and RG. But, I mean, other than that, like like I said, I did better than last time, and then my deck just bricked. But, um, Meg Knights was definitely interesting. I didn't get to play it, but there was there was... For people that are planning on going to these tournaments in the future, keep in mind that even though there's a top meta, which after I say this, we'll go into like what our meta analysis is going to be. Um, you got to expect the unexpected, literally, because I built my side deck and my deck to counter Pendulum Magicians, and it did the job for the most part. But I wasn't ready for a lot of other things. Like I ended up playing... Um, Ritual beasts. Ritual beast. That no, that was easy. Nah, but the one of my the only draw that I had was with what what was that that um that set that they're those machines that their levels change with the field spell. Fas. Fas. I played fas. I had no idea what, what they were doing. We ended up going into a tie because, uh, match one. I was beating him, and I knew I had game. But before I had game, I was reading every single one of his cards, so I knew what to side in. Um, but I was not expecting that. I had no idea what they did, which that's what took us a long time. 
to go into game two. And then in game two, the player knew that if we were to, if, if he wouldn't have extended the game as much as he did, he knew I was either going to win game two or that I was going to win game three. Game two, like I said, I didn't know how to side properly because I, I, I beat him in two turns. So I really didn't get to know what his deck consisted of. Uh, I mean, sorry, that was game one. And then game two, he prolonged it so long that we never got to game three. And sadly, he did beat me in uh, game three by banishing all my pieces. Um, but you, what I, what I was getting at is that he definitely, game two. He, yeah, he beat me game two. So we didn't have game three, exactly. So that was my draw. Um, but what I was getting at is that you have to expect the unexpected. Like, definitely side in a good amount of cards for what you fear the most or what your deck is very weak dense. But you also have to, like, uh, also side in generic cards. Like, definitely, if you main Cosmics, you got to side in Twin Twisters. If you side, if you main Twin Twisters, you got to main Cosmics. Like, every card has a certain, uh, like, there's, I mean, not every card, but every deck is weak to a same generic card like back row removal that's standard um evenly matched it's a very expensive card but that works against every single deck um dark hole regeki i saw a lot of people that were playing rogue decks that weren't maining or citing any board wipes and it's like you you can't do that i know you have typed space and they would like i saw that they would cite in anti-spell fragrances and d barriers over because they're, they didn't have enough space to put in for a dark hole or regeki I mean, I don't know about you, but like, I think I'd rather have something that I can use on any deck because, like I said, I was so prepared for Pendulum Magicians and I only played three out of nine. So six of the decks was like, I didn't really, I, I was, it was just random. I didn't, I cited also for True Draco. I didn't get to play True Draco, so that was a waste of space. Um, I cited one card in for Paleo, or two cards in for Paleos, never played them, so that was a waste of space. And I feel like I could have just made better choices myself personally. How do you feel you did with your sighting? Um, you'll, if you guys see the, uh, check out my deck profile. I definitely talk about that there. Uh, how I felt, <clears throat> what cards I liked, what cards I didn't like. Um, what, but I agree with that. Going for side deck, you need to, yeah, you need to side it in for what's going to be the most prevalent deck out there. But at the same time, you got to make sure it can you can use it for other decks. Like, uh, anti spell is great. It, it stops pen magician, so I'm okay with like you setting in pen uh, anti spell because that is a great yeah. card. And then let's say there's a there's a deck that uh, uh, that that doesn't uh, that uses a lot of spells, like your deck. Like you use a crap ton yeah. of spells. So if you if that would be something you can side in for that. So um, like for me, I, I I think having the lava golems was great. Uh, but I never saw them, and then on top of that, there was a lot of times where I was able to have a lot of negates on board where my opponent could only have one monster, and a kaiju would have been much better than having the lava golem, which needs two. Yeah. And it also takes away your normal summon. So you gotta play around with your ratios. You gotta play. You gotta your side deck should be viable for most decks, and then if you have a very tough matchup against one deck. That is that is when you go and say, okay, my tough matchup is True Draco, so I need to have s cards to side that that specifically combats that deck that I have trouble with. Yeah, definitely agree. Uh, so yeah, that was just a big note because, like I said, I I witnessed myself. People didn't know have anything to side in for me because they didn't have generic cards. Uh, the hand traps are all necessary, you know, whichever ones, if you can't afford, like, Asperos was getting its reprint, but regardless, Effect Veiler is still great, Droll and Lock is not that expensive anymore, it's great, Ghost Thurger is down in price, which is great, um, you know, the, other, the two other expensive ones is the, it's the Gear Gamma and the, and Ash, obviously, which those are also generic that work for literally any deck, um, so, I mean, besides that, so, uh, going into, like, our final conclusion with a meta analysis is definitely the fact that Pen Magicians was an overwhelming. Um, you know, clearly they they had the better they had, they all had they had the better ratios. You were playing Pen Magicians. I don't think I saw any Pen Magicians in the lower and like the higher number tables, as in the worst the yeah, bad yeah. ones. Um, Ninety percent of them were all in the in the top tables. Um, I honestly feel Mech Knights did a lot better than Trick Stars because I know uh, a lot of people were saying that, oh, right now it's Pen Magician is the best and then Trick Stars and then True Dracos and then Mech Knights. But what I realized here in the Kissimmee Regional, I don't know if you agree or not, um, was definitely Pendulum was number one. 
I feel like Mech Knights did better than both Trickstar and um, True Draco because out of everybody that I kept talking to and everyone that we kept like communicating with, they were every, every time they're like, bro, I played a I played a Mech Knight player and like they just went off and like they did things like they special summon because they can continuously special summon as long as they have the um, two piece in a column. Yeah, two in a column. So uh, it was very a very very powerful deck that uh, everyone kept kept complaining about, which is another deck that me for example I didn't get to play them. Thank God. But I had nothing in the side deck for them because I didn't really know how to stop them. But uh, I mean, what were your thoughts on that? Like in, in the order, you agree? It's like, pen. Um, no, well, I I agree definitely on what you were saying, except for like I don't know about True Draco. I think True Draco was more prevalent up in the top tables um, over Mech Knights. Um, but I agree that I think what happened with Trick Stars is that they're they're uh, they changed their deck around from the previous format to now combat uh, pen magicians and a. I think in turn it made them weaker uh, because of their, their deck choices, because Pet Magicians can stop that previous build. So it's it goes in and out. So I think the decks you def we definitely saw out there, Mech Knight variants, Invoked variants, True Draco variants, Pet Magicians, Trickstar, uh, and then you have, uh, you have Dino variants, the True King Dino, Pure Dino, and... Uh, Shadal Dinos, and then you have uh, Light Swarns. You, you had a bunch of bunch of decks, and this this meta is definitely very very diverse. It's not. This is the best meta so far, and since I've been playing, I enjoy it one hundred percent. It's the most competitive one so far in the aspect of like you have no for sure win. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> no, that's one hundred percent. I'm telling you, man. Like any deck, as long as you don't brick and you know what you're doing and you know when to activate what you have to activate you have an opportunity again out all my games even the ones even all my matches even the ones that i lost i took them all to game three and even when i bricked i still ma i still managed to to at least play the grand game i lied because i didn't get to take all the all of them to game three you actually two owed me now that i remember but hey he's actually the first pen magician to two owe me the first one i've lost i've lost matches but not two in a row so uh Props to this guy for that. Um, I mean, overall, that's just you know our opinions, what we thought, what we saw being there and uh, and playing. I again, uh, we did talk to a lot of people. We didn't get to speak to everybody. I didn't get to speak to everybody on the top list yeah. um, to see what they were playing or um, how they felt about it. But from what I experienced, that's just what I had to say. Um, same goes for you, right? Yeah, I mean, did yeah. you get to speak to anybody else? Like what they thought? Not really. I all my games. Pretty much got close to time or or went into time, so I didn't really have time. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's another thing. You're gonna. When, I didn't get time to tr do my trades or anything like that. Yeah, when you guys go to a regional, the, my first regional was a mess. I went, I brought my <laughs> book bag full of stuff, trying to trade and make money. I didn't realize how focused you have to be. Um, when you do go, if you haven't already been, um, definitely stay focused. You know, go with a goal. It's okay if you don't reach it because, again, you're going to play people that are better. You're going to play people that are worse than you. Um, just keep in mind that you want to do your best. Stay focused and don't get nervous. This is a, a serious game. And if you play competitively, you take it seriously like we do. Like Again, I went 4-4-3. Four, four, it's better than what I did before, but I'm super, super disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in my deck also. Um, I know I could have done better, but it is what it is. Super proud for my boy Lon here um super happy with this score but just keep in mind you have to stay focused and enjoy what you're doing because even though this is a competitive game with a competitive format and you're always going to have competitive competition just keep in mind this is a game you got to have fun with it and win or lose there's always next time if there isn't next time because you don't go you have your locals and it's not going to be the end of the world uh, but that's basically all my intake i don't know if you want to say anything else i'm pretty much done if you, no, as you can it. see we're exhausted because it was a difficult one. And I gotta make the drive back to Miami now. Back to Miami. Um, if you uh, if you guys uh, agree with anything, disagree with anything, or just wanna leave a comment, just yeah, leave a comment, Feel like, free. subscribe. Make sure you guys are following the, our page. We're gonna try pumping out as much content as possible. Uh, we're definitely gonna be uh, making a trip to Nats uh, coming it's up now. In Texas, Texas bound. Yeah. And support your local Yu-Gi-Oh stores, man. Support your local Yu-Gi-Oh channels. And, you know, just try and make this shit expand, bro. Yu-Gi-Oh is awesome. It's fun. It's very friendly. 
and you got you know it's just it's just a great way to interact with other people man all right this is jacob and alon man signing out take it easy